This guide shows you how to copy pictures to CDs or DVDs. Now for this you'll need a blank brand new CDR or DVDR, doesn't matter whether it's a plus or minus, or you can use a CDRW or DVDRW. The difference is that uh, the CDRWs and DVDRWs can be rewritten. Okay, so first of all, we need to find the photos on the computer that we want to copy to a DVD or CD. Now, normally these will be stored in uh, one of a few areas. Um, so what we need to do is we need to open up the file explorer, which is this yellow folder down here. Or if you haven't got a yellow folder down here, click on the start menu and you may well see file explorer in there or certainly this sort of symbol just here. So we left click the file explorer, either down here or there on the start menu. And down the left hand side here, we have our folders, um, quick access folders. Now normally pictures would be in the pictures folder, um, although it depends on where you put them um, when you put them on the computer. So have a look in here first of all. So left click on pictures. See if you can find your pictures in here. If you can't find them in here, then try clicking on the documents folder, the downloads folder, or even the desktop, um, and see if you can find them on there. Now, okay, lucky enough, my pictures are in the pictures folder. So uh, what we need to do is, if we wanted to copy individual pictures, um, we find the pictures that we want on the on the screen here and these are the pictures that I want to copy to the DVD so what I do is I hold down the control key or CTRL key this key is normally located in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard keep this held down and left click on all of the photos that you want to send to a CD or DVD let go of the control key and without clicking on anything else, move your mouse over one of the photos that you've already selected. And instead of left clicking, right click, that's click the right mouse button and you'll get this menu appear. One of the options on the menu will be send to. And one of the options down here will be DVDRW drive. So left click DVDRW drive. Okay, so as long as you've got the disk in the drive, now you've got um, this, this message should come up. So um, it says, how do you want to use this disk? Now, what I would suggest is, is really is to use it with a CD or DVD player. Um, the reason I say this is, is because it means it's got greater uh, compatibility with uh, other devices. If you use it like a USB flash drive, um, yeah, it does have the flexibility or it means you can save, edit, delete files on the disk at any time, uh, but it will only work on computers running Windows XP or later. Um, and it may not work on all computers. Um, if you select with a CD stroke DVD player, um, it does mean that you really do have to master the disc and you can't add any more pictures to it after, but it means it's got greater compatibility with um, uh, other CDs and DVD players, especially things, uh, CDs and DVD players that are not inside a computer, such as like on a DVD player, um, a standalone DVD player, should I say, or a, 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 on, on a, a, a TV or something like that. So, uh, okay, so I'm going to select with a CD stroke DVD player. Uh, it's asking for a disc title, so um, it's given today's date. We can left click in the box if we want to, this is optional, or we can just leave it and we can type in um, whatever we want on there. So I'm just going to type in pictures and number one in there okay so we left click next now and it says down the bottom here you have files waiting to be burnt to the disk okay so here's a, a list of the files that are waiting to be burnt to the disk now at this stage we can still add more files to the disk because at the moment it hasn't actually written 
the files to the disk. Uh, what it's done is it's just queued them up. So if we wanted to say, go back to pictures, I can left click on the folder down the bottom here, the yellow folder, and I get these two windows up here. And I'm gonna left click on pictures, on the left to go back to my pictures. And say here, I wanna, I wanna copy this folder of pics. Um, again, I can right click on the folder, move my mouse down to send to, and then along and down to DVD RW drive and left click DVD RW drive. And that will add those to be written to the disc. Now, there you go, your file's ready to be burnt to the disc. Okay, so what we need to do now is we wanna burn the pictures to the disc. We can carry on adding more if we want to in the same way, uh, but I'm gonna left click DVD RW drive down here and there we go, there's our list of um, files or pictures and folders ready to be written to the disk. Um, okay, so next thing I need to do is click manage up the top here. And then I click finish burning. So left click finish burning. It's saying prepare the disk, so it's asking us to give it a title. It's asking for the recording speed. Um, I, I, you can leave that at the speed that it's set to four times. It's usually a pretty good judge, but if you do have trouble burning the disc, then try lowering the speed. It will take longer to burn, but um, it, uh, it may be a bit more reliable. Okay, and then next thing we need to do is left click the next button down here. Now, it's burning the data now to the disc. This part may take some time, so I'm gonna pause this video. Please note, at times it may look as though that the disc is is, is hanging um, it may look as though there's nothing happening but please just just leave it it can take a considerable amount of time okay so the disc has uh, has, has been burnt and uh, it's been ejected so we've got an option here if we want to burn these files again to another disc so if you want to create a copy for somebody else then uh, you can tick this box and uh, and then click next but ordinarily, if you're only doing one copy, you can just click finish here. And I'm just gonna pop the disc in the, uh, in the CD DVD drive and uh, just see if, uh, the disc, if the pictures have copied to the disc. So after popping the disc in, we leave it for a few seconds because it does take a while to, uh, to read the disc. And it says there, there you go, choose what happens with removable drives. So down the bottom there, I'll click that and I click open files, open folder to view files, file explorer, and uh, it should open up the disk for us. And there we go, there's our pictures on the disk, and I'm just gonna click one of them just to check. And there we go, there's our photo. So there you go, that's how to burn photos to a disk.